we are going to, real quick, spur of the moment, we're going to tie uh, an olive sylvanator, great steelhead fly, using these brand new pro flexi beads and classic tubing. And the thing is so cool that they actually, they fit. They fit just right and they're durable. And they come in two sizes and many colors. I happen to be using this uh, orange classic tube. Uh, you know, you could tie this on all sorts of things, but so this is. I'm gonna. Uh, nah, am I gonna put a? Yeah, I think I'm gonna put my rabbit strip right on there. Now I don't want this to be a very big fly, so I'm gonna shorten up this rabbit strip. You know, olive is a color, it's summer or winter, steelhead like really well. And I, I, I always say they like it, especially when they've been seeing a bunch of pink and black and blues all day. But I also think they like it um, just any old time. So I've got some lava lace here. Uh, just want a little bit of this stuff. It's always kind of tricky to work with. Uh, some people might have this down to a science, but I certainly don't. I just get a little bit. And I wrap over it a couple times and then I fold it to the other side and wrap it back and then I Pretend I trim it at some odd lengths and then I just fluff it up a little bit and it's good to go. So I know for, for those of you who like to tie really complicated flies, you might be disappointed. Uh, that's a black barred rabbit strip. And we're gonna use, uh, this is olive. This, this is schlap and you could use saddle. I, I like the UV a lot, uh, but I'm particularly looking, I looked for a piece for a feather that had some of this real fluffy marabou-like material on it and I don't want too many turns. I think I got about three there. And you know, I don't have my right glasses on, and I tell you what, if, if this camera is focused closely, you're gonna see all kinds of problems here. Now, one of my bads is that I put on too much thread there. So this is really our fly. That's it. So now, let me, Let me do a little whip finish on here. Now if I had a deep reach whip finish tool and if I knew how to use a whip finish tool, that would be easier. Okay, let's get one of these gun smoke. Whoops, come back here. I promise this is going to fit on here. All I just have to be is dexterous enough. There we go. So is it going to cover up that thing? It sure is. Look at that. A little bit of flash, a little bit of wiggle from the bunny tail. Let me finish this. sure it's opened up it is okay here is I don't know if that was like a two or three minute fly if I if I'd been organized very effective let's uh, show you the bottom view 
upside down, top, side. So how to rig this? If you want your hook to trail back a little bit, you put it on a loop and you will pull the loop into this tube, just as we did on this other fly. The knot pulled right into the tube. It's tight, but it stays put. Um, now, if you want to, uh, where is it? If you want to fish a straight eye hook, a small eye would pull right into that tube. Or, here's a piece of 4042. If I have an extra piece of this laying around, which I often do, I'd cut off a little piece of the 4040 tube and I'd slide it over. He says, I know this works because I do it all the time. So now you have a scrap of your 4040 tube that you're using as a hook guide and you just uh, use a straight eye hook like a Gamma Gatsu size two glow bug hook and you just pull the eye of that hook right up into here and you're good to go. Okay, I hope I've covered the bases. If not, um, I'll try to in the future. Thank you for joining us and I hope you found something of interest here.